So if you've been using Virtual Drumline and Sibelius 5 for any stretch of time, you're aware that the template and the sound set that accompanies that template are important components that will enable the workflow to function properly. As the sound world technology in Sibelius 5 has developed, the sound set format has changed with each successive version of Sibelius 5, thus requiring new template development for Virtual Drumline and updated sound sets to make use of all these changes. As a result, being aware of which version of the template you were using when you started any particular project has become rather important in order for your older scores to function properly if you're playing them back in Sibelius 525. So, if you're like me, you've never had to keep track of this sort of thing before, and so fortunately, we've found a quick way for you to figure out uh, which version of Sibelius 5 you were using just by opening up the score in Sibelius 525. Here we're looking at just a score that's been created with the VDL template for 525. And, uh, well, you can even see by the file name, it's still named template 525. But here is the surefire way to be able to tell which, uh, which template this originated in. We're going to go to the Create menu and select Instruments or we could just hit I as a shortcut. And uh, you'll see here up in the Ensembles box, uh, if you're using a template that was created for Virtual Drumline by Tapspace, it will have a Virtual Drumline Ensemble. And the way that Ensemble is named will be your giveaway as to which template you were using when that score was created. So here, it's very obvious, VDL Template 525. We know this was created in the 525 template. I'm going to open a score that was created in Sibelius 5.1. And again, we're going to go to the Instruments window. And here in the Ensembles box, I'm going to scroll down to the Virtual Drumline section. And you'll see it says VDL 2.5 Instruments. In the Sibelius 5.1 template, we weren't actually naming the family of, uh, or the ensemble of virtual drumline instruments in correlation to the actual template version. Back then, we probably didn't realize we were going to be having to keep track of these things. So if you were using the 5.1 template, you're just going to see it named VDL 2.5 instruments. Okay, now I'm going to open up a score that was created in the 5.2 template. And again, going to the Instruments window, to the Virtual Drumline family, you'll see it says VDL Template 5.2. So, if something was created in the 5.2 template, this is what you'll see used as the naming scheme within that template. So, uh, before you actually try to launch an older score into 5.2.5 and expect perfect playback, what you're going to do with that score will vary depending on what version of the template you started that score in. Let's stay in this 5.2 score for just a moment, because this is actually a pretty easy fix. What we're going to do is go into our Playback Devices window. And in here, uh, you'll see the basic three default sound sets that you get with Sibelius, and then Here's the three that we created in an earlier video that are centered around using VDL in the 525 template. I'm just going to load this single instance of VDL playback configuration. Now, because this playback configuration uses the 525 sound set for Virtual Drumline, it's not going to quite function the way we want it to, since this score is a 5.2 originated score. So what we're going to do is create a new playback configuration that's uh, going to use the 5.2 sound set. So I'm just going to swap out this 5.2.5 sound set and replace it with the 5.2 sound set. And again, you'll see that we've made a change here because the asterisk appears in the playback configuration menu. And now I'm just going to save this as a new configuration. And rather than calling it a 525 configuration, I'm just going to call it a 52 configuration. And it is just a single instance of contact player, so I know it only uses 16 sounds. So I'll just click OK. And now we've saved that playback configuration. 
So while I'm at it, I'm just going to convert my other playback configuration so I have these all on hand when I need them. So I'm going to load my 525 32 sounds version of Virtual Drumline. Change my sound sets to 52. Rename the configuration so that it's a 5.2 configuration. Save that and we're good to go there. Let's load my 525 32 sound VDL and 16 sound essentials playback configuration. That's going to load three instances of the contact player. And I'm just going to take the VDL sound sets, change them from 525 to 52. And again, just name this as such. And we're good to go there. Now I happen to know uh, just actually off the top of my head that this particular score that I'm working on needs more than just two instances of virtual drumline contact players. So I'm actually going to add another contact player while I'm thinking about this. And so there's my fourth instance of contact player two. It's already assigned to the VDL sound set for 5.2. And because this score was originally created in 5.2, that's the sound set that I want. So I'm going to save this as a new configuration. It is 5.2. VDL instead of 32 sounds is going to have 48 sounds now that I've now that I've added an extra instance. Essentials is still 16 sounds, so this is good. Save, and I'm good to go. And that's the playback configuration I'm going to want for this particular score. So that's how I'm going to work in a uh, 5.2 originated score. If I go back to my 525 originated score. I am going to uh, just cancel that, open my playback devices window again. I'm going to just change my configuration to my 525 VDL configuration. And this is just a small score, so I'm only going to load that one instance and close, and I'm good to go there. Now, in the 5.1 score, let's go to that one. Uh, this particular score uh, is going to take a little bit more work and what it's going to entail is converting the 5.1 formatted score into the 525 template. And once it's in that 525 template mode, we will just assign the 525 playback configurations and it will work just fine. Uh, we'll go over the conversion process of converting your 5.1 score into 525 in a separate video because that'll um, warrant just focusing on that one task because it is a little bit more in depth than some of the other concepts we've discussed in this particular episode. So you can look for that in a later video.